Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Lord Oxford semi-automatic aluminum block petrol lighter. This is a very cool lighter. You don't see the normal actuating mechanisms that you would expect. You don't see a file roller, a lid, a lift arm, or even a snuffer that you can just manipulate. This mechanism is spring-loaded and operates off the manipulation of this lever on the front of the lighter. Really nifty mechanism with an interesting design that doesn't have any screws or fasteners that you can see at least from the outside other than the fuel screw and flint spring screw fuel screw in this particular lighter does show some corrosion it looks like rust on the face of the screw so I would assume that this screw is manufactured out of something other than aluminum either that or that is something else that has discolored the screw other than rust either way it looks like rust to me. Don't think there are any markings on the actual screw. You can see on the base of the lighter it is marked Lord Oxford, patent pending. Now there is an article on the Toledo Bin BCL site that was written by Larry Tolkien. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Larry Lighter from Facebook and eBay and I believe that the particular article that I'm referring to called Metal Mania on the Toledo Bend BCL site was first published in the Blaze magazine or newsletter but in the article Larry says that these were manufactured starting in 1946 and produced through the 1950s. There was a manual version that has a different design altogether, different snuffer, looks completely different. Some of these semi-automatic models were anodized, different colors, and there are even some promotional or advertising models shown there on the Toledo Bend site was a Coca-Cola red anodized model of this particular lighter. The lighter was made in Lapeer, Michigan by Oxford Pile which made aircraft parts and according to the article that Larry wrote there they also had a showroom on 5th Avenue. So an aluminum block lighter with an English sounding name, Lord Oxford. And they actually had a showroom in New York City whereby people could go in, check out their lighters, buy their lighters. I'm sure they had other smoking expendables may have been a tobacconist who knows this was in a world and time gone by that really doesn't exist anymore you don't see these sort of products being made with the same kind of craftsmanship you don't really have new petrol lighters other than 
Zippo and Zorro, a few others. Zippo really the only one still making lighters. Emco is being made, but it's a different manufacturer making them under the same name. So same with some of the Ronson lighters that you see on Amazon. Those are actually made in China or Japan. But from an era that has definitely passed us by when it comes to the craftsmanship, the design, and you just don't see petrol lighters being produced like this anymore. It's a very uncommon thing amongst aluminum block petrol lighters. Typically they are the roller lighter variety. Some were the file wheel or thumb wheel type but the examples that were made featuring semi-automatic or automatic mechanisms are few and far between. A really cool lighter. Does show scuffs, scratches, maybe some dings, corrosion, damage to the fuel screw slot. Looks like perhaps a little bit of damage to the flint spring screw screwdriver slot some discoloration to the finish it does have sort of a high polish type mirrored finish rather than it being flatter and a really cool lighter to put your hands on when you first get it you see the screws on the bottom then the rest of it just sort of looks like a box I wasn't sure where to try to actuate it at when I first got it. Trying to pry up on a lid or push here, push there, and then I accidentally pushed where you push. And as the old advertisements say, you push the button and it lights. So this will be listed in the dependableflame.com eBay store soon. All those listings are facilitated through a page on our website, dependableflame.com slash current eBay listings. You can find that in the drop down menu under vintage lighters. I believe that's the second menu from the left on the top of the website. And as Larry points out in that article on the Toledo Bend website, that this is an aluminum block petrol lighter that everybody needs in their collection, especially if you are an aluminum block collector or simply a semi-automatic mechanism collector. This is one you're going to want. Until next time.